Welcome back to Clobo's channel. Today we're going to be making their breakfast. We're going to start off with a seasoning blend that consists of some iodine salt. And this supports your dog's metabolism and builds healthy thyroid hormones. Now we're going to go in with some cinnamon, which is an anti-inflammatory. And then some ginger that can be used to strengthen a weakened immune system. Okay, now we're going to use some turmeric that is a powerful spice with many health benefits to dogs. Um, it can help reduce inflammation. Now we're going to use some Italian seasoning and this consists of rosemary, parsley, sage, and oregano. And it's high in iron and calcium. Now we're going to use some black pepper just to help activate that turmeric. So now we're going to use some of their magic dust and they love this stuff. It's freeze dried bacon and beef and all of that stuff. So we're going to put some of that. I forgot to mention before, but I use one eighth of a teaspoon of each of these seasonings. Now I'm going to go in with some broccoli, which is filled with a variety of important vitamins and nutrients, including vitamin C, vitamin K and potassium. These nutrients work wonders on the heart, bone density and immune system for your canine so i highly recommend using broccoli so now we're using some spinach which contains a large amount of vitamin a b c and k it also contains iron antioxidants um, which stimulates the digestive tract in your pup So now I'm going to set that aside and get started on the chicken breast. So I'm just using a chicken breast and I'm just going to clean it up by taking off all the fat pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and butterfly that and make sure to season it fully just like you would season your own chicken. Massaging that in, giving it a little rub down. And I'm going to do that to both sides. And this seasoning blend smelled so good when it was cooking oh my goodness moving on to cooking i feed my dogs a gently cooked diet which means i lightly cook the outer parts of my protein while the center is partially cooked at temperatures that are high enough to destroy any pathogens such as e coli which is around 70 to 80 degrees fahrenheit this is why you see me using a thermometer to ensure i'm killing any harmful bacteria I feed this way since a gently cooked diet offers an alternative to a raw diet since I'm not comfortable yet feeding my pets a raw protein. So now moving on to the rice, I'm just going to mix some warm water with some bone broth. Bone broth is very beneficial to your dog's immune system and it helps maintain a healthy skin and coat. So I'm going to mix that together and pour that over the rice. Um, I typically don't use microwave rice, but I didn't have any regular rice, so microwave rice it is. So I'm going to microwave, like I said, for five minutes. Now I'm going to dice up the chicken breast. And I'm showing you guys how it's partially cooked. So it kind of overcooked a little bit, but I think it's fine. But just I'm dicing that in bite-sized pieces. So now I'm just going to set that aside and move on to the next step. I'm going to add 100% pumpkin and I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of this to their rice and make sure to fully incorporate it into that rice so they don't notice it as much. And pumpkin is just very beneficial. It's a natural stomach soother. Um, it also removes excess water in a dog's digestive tract to reduce instances of diarrhea as well as constipation in your dog. So now I'm just measuring out their food. As you can see, so Chloe gets about 35 grams of rice, 42 grams of chicken breasts, and 22 grams of veggies. Now we're moving on to Bose. He gets 44 grams of rice and 97 grams of chicken breast and 22 grams of veggies. Moving on to the most important part of this recipe is their supplements. They get native pet and they just get a multivitamin it's snout to tell so i'm just measuring out that i use about a scoop and a half and then i'm mixing in some bone broth because they are very picky and they don't eat the supplements by themselves so i mix in some bone broth to kind of get them started eating it 
Now I'm gonna move on to the DIY nutrient mix. And this is a blend of vitamins and miner minerals designed to supplement homemade dog food. So I'm gonna mix, mix, mix that in and fully incorporate it in there and pour it evenly over their food. And I'm gonna mix that in just to get it all over their food. So it's a little watery, but that's okay. Now we're gonna move on to some wild Alaskan salmon oil and they just get a squirt each. And now I'm doing a happy dance with Chloe cause it's breakfast time and she loves it. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.